Let's go to this article here. Uh, Forbes magazine, uh, really good stuff here. I'm going to roll through this pretty quickly uh, because I want, for those of you that are new to the program, to hear how I want you to handle this important conversation about an increase in your compensation. So here are, uh, this is really good, five signs it's a good time to ask for a raise. Uh, number one, when you come off of a big win. Now, I read this, and I, I'll be honest with you, Joe Mass. I read this and I go, well, I, I appreciate what they're saying. You come off a big win, but don't just show up the next day going, hey, yeah, so since I'm pretty freaking awesome, uh, should we talk about a contract extension? You know, I, you know, I don't like that. So I do want to put a caveat out there that, um, yes, you come off a big win and there's some high value, uh, but don't go in right away with the old raise talk. Now, I'm going to tell you how I would approach all this. I want to run through the five things and then tell you how to approach it. All right, number two, your department is doing particularly well. So your team's winning. That's great. Um, number three, your company is really killing it. They're flush with cash. Number four, you've got another offer. And number five, your role is in high demand. Okay. Now, these are all good things for you to reference. But some of you, if you're not careful, you'll take this information and go, okay, hey, listen, it's time for me to go talk raise. And I don't ever like talking raise. What I like talking is performance measures. And when you and your leader can get clear on your current performance, your past performance, and what a future performance win will be, and you've got two out of the three, and then you go, hey, um, man, things are going well, and, and, and I'm loving this, and I want to keep winning for the company. Because all of these essentially lead to this conversation. And what you want to reference is, is look, I want to keep winning. And a part of that winning is obviously more responsibility. And with that responsibility and success, more compensation. That's not a, that's not a silly thing. That's not an aberration. That's not a crazy ask. But you couch it with, hey, um, we're doing well. I just came off this, you know, whatever. These are just momentums, essentially. These are momentum moments. And they're saying capitalize on it. Yeah, but you've got to do it the right way. Because you don't want to look greedy. You don't want to look prideful. You don't want to look ungrateful. All the things. So by tying it to a performance plan, hey, I'd like some more responsibility as a result of how we're doing and how I'm doing. Or are you okay with that? Or I, I want to learn some additional skills that you think make me more valuable for you and our team. That's a great way to start. Okay, yeah, sure, sure. Well, can we be specific about what those are and what these what those need to be, and can we measure that growth? So, A, if I'm taking a course, well, then I've got to successfully complete the course and show the evidence of that. If it's, uh, I, I'm going to give you more responsibilities, you got to say, great, so what does a win look like in these added responsibilities, and how do we measure success? so that we see growth and actual results. And then if I achieve these things, how does that affect my compensation? These kind of conversations are a much better way to come about this, this overall conversation. It's not, hey, company's flush with cash. That staff meeting report said things are great. How about a bump for your boy? You know, like, <laughs> let's not do that. That's, that's not going to be received very well. You know, I'll give you a bump. You know, maybe they're going to give you a fist bump. Hey, yeah, had a boy. Way to go! Yeah, come on, folks, be careful. And again, I, I'm I'm oversimplifying because, you know, the article lays these things out, and the, and these are good signs, but you still got to handle it with the right spirit. 